Good day people. My name is Mohit and I'm working with Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. Today I'll, uh, I'll show you guys uh, how to create a Spry collapsible panel. Let me start. I'm clicking on the create new HTML file. Thereafter I will save this file. I'll call it index and I'll also give it a title. I'll call it uh, collapsible panel. Next I'll click on insert, go down to layout objects and then choose fry collapsible panel. Dreamweaver inserts a very basic fry collapsible panel. Let me show in the live view what exactly we have. A very basic fry collapsible panel. Let me also show you in the browser. Let me preview it in the uh, Firefox browser. I'll save it. Uh, Dreamweaver is uh, creating two supporting files, uh, Spry Collapsible Panel.css and Spry Collapsible Panel.js JavaScript file. I'll say OK. And this is the preview in Mozilla Firefox. I'll get back to uh, Dreamweaver. And uh, the moment I bought the Spry inside the design view, in the middle, this, this area is the design view the area design area okay uh, dream viewer also inserted eight rules that control this fry each and every rule is responsible for some property or some area of the collapsible panel I'll click on the first rule and tweak it I'll double click here okay and I'll uh, go down to the box category I'll alter the width and I'll keep it uh, to a 500 and uh, let's say Mm, let me check the image size in question uh, the image size is 580 okay fine let me get back to Dreamweaver and let me give it a width of 580 I'll tell you later why I check the size of the image and I'll say okay the moment I do that guys notice that uh, the width has been truncated from the right hand side so it's a 580 pixels wide spry collapsible panel now okay <coughs> uh, I'll go down to the rule below that which is a dot collapsible panel tab double click on it and I'll alter the font size from 0 0.7 to 0.9 okay <coughs> sorry people all right, and then I'll say okay. Again, next I'll uh, tackle the third rule from the top, which is uh, the dot collapsible panel content. Double click and um, go down to the box category once again. Give it a height of uh, 400 pixels and say okay once again. So now this uh, spry collapsible panel has a width of 580 and a height of uh, 400 pixels. Next uh, people let me uh, give it a background as well. The content area, this area, a background as well. So I'll go back to the dot collapsible panel content rule which is the third rule from the top. Double click and go to the background section. I'll browse for the background image. Now this is the image which was 580 uh, by 400 pixels and that was the reason I chose the width of the spline to be a 580. I'll say OK. I'll say OK once again. Now let me click on the tab area. Cool. So uh, I'm actually using uh, a background image for the third rule, the dot collapsible panel content rule. So the content area now has a background. Let me go back to the same rule, the third rule from the top once again. Double click and uh, get down to the box area once again. Here we see that the padding is zero. That is why this content text written out here is touching the edge of the spry. I think uh, uh, 8 is good enough so I'll give it uh, a padding of 8 and uh, I'll say OK. Guys, notice that uh, this content is not displaced from the left-hand side edge from the top as well. 
so it's having a nice uh, comfortable uh, padding now okay guys uh, now that I've taken care of the content area I also need to take care of the tab area this is the tab area the blue area where we have this tab written and how can I do that there are three rules that I need to touch one two and three one two and three uh, the fifth rule from the top the sixth rule from the top and seventh rule, for, uh, rule from the top the fifth uh, rule from the top which is a dot collapsible panel open dot collapsible panel tab uh, is responsible for controlling the tab in the open state the rule below that which is the dot collapsible panel close dot collapsible panel tab is responsible for controlling the same tab in the closed state and uh, the seventh rule from the top of the second last rule is responsible for the color of the hover when the mouse is hovered over the tab area when it is open so uh, by controlling or altering these three rules I'll be uh, getting a nice neat looking strike audience panel so I'll click on the fifth rule from the top double click and uh, I'll go down to the background section the background category and browse for an image the image that I've chosen is this uh, div BG image notice guys this image has four different shades on the top it's different somewhere in the middle it's different and as we go down below it's get darker and darker let me show you the image uh, in my uh, working folder this is the image let me blow it up mm, let me zoom on it so this is the top this is the center Th as you go down below it it's turning uh, darker okay this I have chosen as the background image for my tab let me get back to Dreamweaver and uh, I'll say okay by default uh, Dreamweaver repeats any image uh, along the X as well as the Y axis so I don't need to touch this nor do I need to touch this rule now let me tuck this image uh, uh, to the left edge when I say the background position should be left it's just uh, aligning itself to the left edge of the tab area but the background position I'll keep it at uh, 5% when I do that uh, vertically Dreamweaver will ignore the first 5% and then show the area show the area of the image through this tab area but it will not show the first top uh, five percent and then it starts showing up through the tab area I'll say okay notice guys there's some change here cool then I'll go down to the sixth rule from the top or the third last rule this controls the tab area in the closed state this is the closed state okay I'll double click on that I'll go down to the uh, background category and locate the same image div bg dot png and I'll say okay mm. the background exposition is left at uh, left and the background y position I'll leave it at a 10% instead of the 5% that I had uh, given it earlier which means that uh, it'll clip off uh, some uh, area of the image from the top and then it'll display it so the background X and Y position actually control which part of the image is going to be shown through the top area in this example so it'll ignore the the top uh, uh, 10% uh, or some area for sure and then it's gonna show up I'll say no I'll say okay now okay so notice there's a subtle change and then I'm going to tackle the second last rule this controls the tab hover I'll uh, go down to the background category browse for the same image the bg.png double click and uh, I'll tuck it to the left but the Y position will now be 15% I'll say okay once again 
So when I hover over, notice that small uh, nice effect, guys. Okay, it's very subtle, it's not uh, very dramatic. Let me uh, take a Firefox preview. See, when I hover over, and even when the uh, tab closes and opens, there's a difference in the tab area. Okay. Uh, let me do something more. Let me get back to Dreamweaver and uh, let me go to the second rule from the top collapsible panel tab dot collapsible panel tab second rule from the top double click let me increase uh, the uh, font size to a 1 instead of a 0.9 I want it to be still uh, still have more height line height and uh, let me go down to the box category the padding is 2 I'll make it 8 and apply notice uh, the change guys okay uh, <coughs> I don't like this uh, brown kind of a portion of the image that is showing through okay so I'll go back to the rule and uh, drop down the font size to a point 0.8 and say okay the brown portion of the image is still uh, showing through I'm not happy I'll go down to this rule and I'll go down to the box category once again and I'll still drop the padding further to a 4 I'll say okay. Mm, this is better. The small thin line at the bottom is actually giving it a dramatic effect. Okay guys, uh, so this is how you actually create a spry collapsible panel. I hope you learned something new today. And uh, you'll make uh, something useful, something nice, something good for yourself too. I'll see you next time once again with yet another tutorial on Adobe uh, uh, Dreamweaver, CS5, or it, it even uh, might be Flash or ActionScript. Ciao. Bye-bye.